Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm your historian, and today we have an incredible historical topic to dive into. We're going to explore one of the most significant events in English history, the Battle of Hastings and the Norman Conquest of England. So grab a cup of tea, sit back, and let's travel back in time to the year 1066. Before we get into the battle itself, let's set the stage. In the 11th century, England was ruled by King Edward the Confessor, who had no children. This led to a succession crisis, and several contenders emerged, each with their own claim to the English throne. Among these contenders were Harold Godwinson, the Earl of Wessex, and Duke William of Normandy. Hero Godwinson, a powerful English noble, was crowned the King of England after Edward's death. However, his reign was immediately challenged by Duke William of Normandy, who claimed that Edward had promised him the throne. William gathered a massive invasion fleet and set his sights on England. In September 1066, William and his Norman army landed on the shores of Pevensey in southern England. He built a mod and bailey castle and prepared for a confrontation with Harold's forces. On the other hand, Harold had just won a major victory against the Norwegian invaders at the Battle of Stamford Bridge. Fatigued and with depleted forces, he faced a difficult decision. And now, let's get to the main event, the Battle of Hastings. On the 14th of October 1066, the two armies clashed in a field near Hastings. Harold's army consisted primarily of foot soldiers, while William's army included both infantry and cavalry. It was a battle that would change the course of English history. Both sides employed different tactics and strategies. Harold's troops formed a shield wall, a common defensive formation at the time, using their shields to create a barrier against the Norman cavalry charges. William, on the other hand, utilized archers, infantry, and heavy cavalry to break through Harold's defense. The battle raged on for hours, with neither side gaining a clear advantage. Norman archers launched volleys of arrows into the English shield wall, weakening their defenses. Then, William ordered a feigned retreat, drawing some of Harold's forces away from the shield wall. This allowed the Norman cavalry to charge and break through the English lines. During the intense fighting, tragedy struck for the English. King Harold was struck in the eye by an arrow and killed, leading to a significant blow to the morale of his troops. With the death of their leader, the English forces began to waver. After Harold's death, the remaining English soldiers fought fiercely, but they were ultimately overwhelmed by the Normans. The battle ended with a decisive victory for William and the Normans. This victory paved the way for William's coronation as King of England on Christmas Day 1066. The Battle of Hastings marked the beginning of Norman rule in England, commonly known as the Norman Conquest. It brought significant changes to English society, language, and culture. The Normans introduced feudalism, French as the language of the ruling elite, and a new architectural style, seen in the construction of castles and cathedrals. And there you have it! the Battle of Hastings and the Norman Conquest of England. This battle was a turning point in English history, shaping the country's future for centuries to come. It's fascinating to see how a single battle can have such profound consequences. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more historical content. Until next time! Take care and keep exploring the past. Thank you so much for watching. If 
you have any questions or want to share your thoughts on the Battle of Hastings, feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, stay curious and keep learning. See you in the next video!